Hi ladies, it's your girl Angel515-2010 and sorry it has been a while since I have vlogged but I have been extremely busy and not a lot has changed. So this is going to be my 27, 28 and ta-da 29 week. Yay! Pregnancy update. Um, you are reading that right. I am 29 weeks as of today. I actually switch over 30 weeks tomorrow, but I'm 29 today. Um, baby is the size of a butternut squash. Um, he is about 15.25 inches long and 2.5 pounds. And once again, these measurements are just based on my um, baby bump app that I'm using. So, yeah, let's get right into this because it's probably going to be... Not that long of a vlog, but I want to make sure I cover everything. Week 27 was pretty um, uneventful for me. It was just like any other average pregnancy week. Um, really no, no big symptoms. That's why I didn't bother to vlog. I had my glucose test on week 28, um, my one-hour glucose test. And so my plan was to combine week 27 and 28 into a vlog so that I could tell you about the glucose test. Um... But then um, when I had my one hour results um, come in, I figured, oh, I'll just wait and combine them with the 29 weeks so that I can tell you my final results. So in week 28, I went to the doctor and I had my one hour glucose test. Um, I went in at, I think nine that morning. Um, I didn't, eight or nine that morning. I didn't eat breakfast because it was so early and I normally don't eat breakfast that early. Um, and I ended up failing my one hour glucose test. My number was 137 and the doctor at, well, at my doctor's office, they like to keep it below 120. So yeah, needless to say, I failed it and had to take the three hour test. Um, at that appointment, um, Nathaniel was still measuring 28 centimeters when they measured my belly. Um, I had gained five pounds. So I am one pound above my pre-pregnancy weight. So basically I have gained back all six pounds that I have lost, um, that I lost on pregnancy plus the one. So yeah, so technically I'm only one pound for this pregnancy so far. Um, I do go to the doctor tomorrow and we'll see how that changes. Um, but just at that 28 week appointment, I had only gained um, one pound from pre-pregnancy. I lost six and gained seven back, so one pound up. Um, seven pounds for me being 28 weeks, um, pretty good weight. It wasn't seven pounds total. It was losing six and then gaining it, so I was pretty fine with that. But yeah, so after I failed my one-hour glucose test, um, my iron test and the other blood test that they run was fine. Um, my anemic test was fine. Um, but the glucose test, I did fail because... I'm sorry it's raining outside so I'm like in a drowsy mode but I did fail the one hour test because I scored the 137 so basically they called me I took I went in Thursday and took the test and the lady didn't call me back until mm, Monday to tell me that I failed um failed the one hour test so I had to schedule the take the three hour test on Tuesday. I got up Tuesday morning. I had to be there at 7 30. The three hour is a fasting lab. Um, the three hour and the one hour, I both had the orange solution. It wasn't bad. It tasted like a flat orange soda. Um, just really, really sweet. Um, baby didn't like the one hour or the three hour because when I initially drunk it all, I guess he got like a sugar high or sugar rush. So he was very active and like. You know rolling around like he didn't know what was going on because it was so much sugar because I don't eat a lot of sweets um, now that I'm pregnant I didn't really eat a lot then I like Skittles and I like Starburst but it, I don't sit there and like just purge on sweets it's not my thing um, so yeah he didn't particularly like it so I took the three-hour test and I ended up passing that one with flying colors um, my fasting lab was I think 70 72 and they want you to be between 67 and like 98 um and then the one hour test within each hour bracket i passed with flying colors 
Um, the one hour test, I think I was the closest to being like borderline. And then after that, I was like well within the numbers. Um, even within the one hour thing, I was still like maybe six or seven points from what they wanted to be the normal range, but it was still higher than the rest of the numbers. Um, so basically, when you, I don't know if any of you guys have ever taken a three hour test because I may have some new mommies who are following me. You go in, they take your blood, they draw some blood. Um, as soon as you walk in, it's called your fasting one. They make you drink the drink. You have to come back in exactly, they make you stay in the lobby, which was boring. Um, so bring a book, something. I took um, my crocheting or my knitting needles and I needed a little bit and then I just kind of played on my phone and then I took a nap. But they make you come back within an hour of drinking the juice, like back, and they draw more blood, and that's your first hour. Then they make you go back out, sit in the waiting room. The second hour, you come back, they draw more blood, and then you go back in the waiting room, you sit for another hour, and they draw more blood. So they end up drawing blood from you four times during your three-hour glucose test. You're fasting at one hour mark, at a two-hour mark, and then at the three-hour mark. Um, but yeah, they had my results for that posted the next day. And I passed with flying colors. So I'm glad that that's out of the way. I don't have to worry about it anymore. <sighs> um, a lot of people that I do know who are pregnant or who have kids previously, they told me they all failed in one hour and then had to go take the three hours. So I was nervous, but not as nervous because people would tell me, you know, it's all right to fail in one hour. You just go in and take the three hour. But like, it kind of freaked me out a little bit at first that I failed. You know, because I was going, well, what if this, what if that? You know, I could have gestational diabetes and they got to make me go into labor early. Yeah, new mommy, first time mom. So I was kind of freaking out a little bit. But yeah, um, so that was it for week 28. I failed the one hour. The three hour test I didn't take until week 29. Um, I rolled over on Thursday to week 29 and then I took the three-hour glucose test that Tuesday within my 29th week so that is why I no I was still was I still yeah week 29 start of week 29 so that's why I waited to do the vlogs just so I could give you guys my results for the glucose test um I do have a doctor appointment tomorrow it'll probably be just your average um go in and they'll probably measure my stomach to my blood pressure my weight like they normally do measure the stomach and that's it um so i will probably do a vlog maybe the next week for my 30 week update and i'll try to start tracking them every week or every two weeks from now because my doctor's appointments have switched to being every two weeks now yay meaning i am in my third trimester and i go to the doctor every two weeks now which is going to be kind of annoying um, also, in week 29, I schedule our labor and delivery classes that we're going to take. We are going to have a five-week session. They start on January 12th, um, so in another week and a half. Well, another two weeks, almost two weeks, not a full two weeks, but um, we'll start taking them every Tuesday, and they'll be from 6 to, six to 9, I think. Yeah, 6 to 9 for the five weeks. Um, I think our last class ends like February the 9th and then also I, we have our hospital tour coming up um, I don't know if I'll be able to take you guys along on the hospital tour I will try to vlog that um, I don't know if I'll be able to vlog the um, birthing classes but I will try to vlog as much about that or either I will just come back and give you guys a little information as to what we did once we start going to the birthing classes I will do a vlog every week just so I can let you guys know what we learned that week um, to kind of help some of you out we are taking the birthing classes at the hospital that we that i'm planning on delivering at it was 90 dollars for the five-week session and then the hospital tour is free of course um but yeah so that's pretty much it we're just kind of like in countdown now i've got 11 weeks give or take 10 well 10 as of tomorrow until baby nathaniel's here so we are in like crunch time to prep well i am my husband keeps going well we got plenty of time we got plenty of time and i'm like no he's gonna be here soon so i'm kind of in crunch mode um after this vlog is over with i will do another nursery tour for you guys because as you you're probably kind of looking behind me and there are a few things that are different in this nursery that you may not have seen 
Um, so I will do another vlog to show you that um, right after this. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave them below. I'm going to do you a belly shot now because it looks like I'm smothering a basketball. And then I'm going to let you ladies go. So, move back my chair up. So, here is Nathaniel from the front. Here's Nathaniel. Tilt my a little bit. Here we go. Here's Nathaniel from the right. Looks like I'm supposed to have a little basketball, right? Nathaniel from the left. And then I'll show you guys my belly belly. So here's Nathaniel from the front again. Um, as you guys can see, my stretch marks are getting a little bit darker i've gotten well the hubs when it got me some lavender um belly scrub and then it has some vitamin e oil to go along with it that you rub on your stomach afterwards for pregnant women so i've been using that and as you guys can see look at my belly button it is pretty much flat and non-existent there's just a hole where it used to be um i'm pretty sure the next couple of days i'll be in audi and he is officially head down now he kicks me up here he flipped yesterday um, he was still feet down and he was kicking me down here and then while I was at work he did some weird flip thing and then kind of turned around. So here's him from the right and then here's him from the left. I feel pretty good to be 29, almost 30 weeks. I don't feel like I'm that big. I feel like I'm just all belly in the front. So I'm really excited about that. So that is pretty much it for this pregnancy vlog, even though it contained three weeks. Like I said, it's been pretty much uneventful. Um, just the glucose test that I took and failed. Um, oh yeah, I've started to get, um, I don't know if it's round ligament pain. It's only in one leg, my left leg. I feel like my hip socket is about to like give out. I feel really stiff over there. Um, I find it harder to roll over at night. I feel like a whale. I have a pregnancy wedge or pillow wedge that I use to prop my stomach up when I lay on my side. Whew. And I got that from Target. It was like on clearance for nine bucks. It's originally 18. So check Target, check the clearance owl cap, but that works really well for me at night. And when I have to roll over, the hubs has to help me, of course, because I do like a little, got to get myself ready and like get some momentum before I can flip, um, flip over. But yeah, just the, the left leg that gives me a little problem and that's pretty much it. And I'm guessing because that's the side that I mostly sleep on is my left side. So I'm pretty sure that's why. Um, he still likes to be balled up on my right side though. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, ladies. Mwah.